Hi, this is Andy Scott with North Shore Apartments and Condos. I'm walking into unit number 403 at 1333 Birchwood. This is a really big studio, and you can see it gets a lot of natural light. We're looking at the living room, which is probably about 11 feet across by 13 feet long. So it's quite a big living room. It's got a living area. It's got laminated uh, hardwood floors, ceiling fan, very big radiator in the front. Uh, the windows are facing west. We see just a sliver of the bathroom and that is a massive walk-in closet. I'm going to walk towards the uh, windows. And again, we're facing west. We're east of Sheridan here. So we're looking at the backyards of the homes right on Sheridan. As I turn around, we see the dining area, just a sliver of the kitchen. And there's the front door that we just came in. So just to come down and show you how big the living area is. Really something. So I'm going to come back and show you the big walk-in closet. But this dining area is also very big. It's probably more like nine feet, rather. Usually it's like eight by six. This has got to be a little bit bigger than that. Parquet hardwood floors. Again, the windows are facing west. As I walk in, we see the built-ins on either side of the entry to the kitchen. Nice cabinets in the kitchen as well. So I'm going to walk towards the kitchen just to give you a look at the dining area. And you can see that's easily big enough for a four person, person table. It also make a really good office or you could put a uh, probably a full size bed in there. And there again is the living area. Okay, so as we, we look here, we see the apartment sized stove, some cabinets above a countertop that is laminated uh, rather than rock. We have a stainless steel sink, a little bit of cabinet space underneath. Apartment sized dishwasher, that's a good quality dishwasher. Then across from the stove, we actually have some free space. Again, we have the parquet hardwood floors. The fridge isn't plugged in, but we have some space here for a small table or a surface area if you wanted some prep area or some storage for cabinets. The fridge is about five feet, eight inches high. You see the freezer on top, shelves to the right. And we have more shelves and crisper drawers, shelves and a butter dish. So again, the, the fridge is probably, it's full size, about five feet, eight inches. And I'll just try to give it a look like that. There we go. And I'm gonna step into this open area and give you a better look at the stove, the countertop, the stainless steel sink, the cabinets below and the uh, dishwasher. So the stove is just a, a little bit smaller stove. Basically, it still needs to be cleaned a little. I see the whole kitchen area needs to be cleaned a little, so I'm going to guess this is where the tenant left it. I'm told they just moved out. And I'll show you what the uh, cabinets look like. That's the paperwork for the stove. And then we've got two more sets of these cabinets that look the same as the first one. Again, we have a laminated countertop and a stainless steel sink. We have good water pressure, it burns nicely. Underneath is nice and dry, it can be used for storage. And next to the sink, is the dishwasher. It's a smaller dishwasher, but it's stainless steel inside, which means it'll be quieter. You'd be able to talk to somebody while you're running in the dishwasher. There is one drawer, and the cabinets underneath are deeper for pots and pans or appliances or things of that nature. 
So I think I'm going to step back in this empty area in the kitchen so you can add some storage, some cabinets, give you a look at the stove, the dishwasher, and the cabinets underneath. Go back out into the dining area. I'm going to take just a little look like this so you see the fridge from a better angle. And again, we have the built-in cabinets. Go across the, uh, the living room. And we have this massive closet. This thing is huge. It's probably 10 feet or more, probably four feet across, maybe more even, 10 feet. We've got a couple of shelves at the back, has its own light fixture, shelf and a hanging bar here. It is just a massive, it's to turn on a light. Um, so we got the parquet hardwood floor. Just a very, you can hear my voice echo actually. So it's just a very big closet. Then we go into a standard vintage bathroom. We do have some extra shelves, standard vintage toilet, tiles that are recognizable. Uh, nice sink with a cabinet below and with a good water pressure. And it comes nice and dry underneath with a little still. fixture above the medicine cabinet mirrors. We have very nice tiles in the shower. The shower head's probably about 6'2 or 6'3. Nice. The windows are newer, so they're easy to open. Will help keep the bathroom dry. Nice tiles throughout. And I'll bet we have good water for Oh, well, it went right to shower, so. There you have the shower, that's just the hot water. And you can see it's running well and draining well. So we'll get that shut down. Whoops. Whoops, a daisy, and there you have that. I'm gonna pull this closed. Step out of the bath real quick. Give you another look. It's actually a very light room. This is a very light apartment. One more look at the living room. Look across that big dining area. It's a nice big studio, it really is. With a lot of natural light, ceiling fan, and that brings us back to the front door. Thanks for watching.